Here is how you insert your picture onto a page. So here's the page I am at. Before I can edit anything, of course, I have to be logged in, and then I will see this button here that says Edit This Page. So I will click on Edit This Page. Right. Your picture will go where, where your cursor is. So I'm going to go to assume I'm the next student and put my cursor into this cell that is uh, dedicated for your photo. And then up here, is the insert image or file icon in the toolbar. Let me bring that down. Okay. If it's already uploaded, it'll be in a list, and you're going to see previous students in the list. Please leave those there. But since you're a new student, it won't be uploaded yet. So you'll click on Upload Files, and you can say click here to use our single file upload tool. It'll ask you to choose your file, so you'll have to have your photo ready to go. Mine is on my desktop. And uh, I will scroll down. There it is. Choose. And then, now that I've chosen the file, I want to upload it. Okay. And it'll show up right there. Now, I don't have to do anything else at this point but double click on this image. When I double click on it, it'll go into the spot where my cursor was. Now, the next thing I notice right here is that it's too big. Okay. And if I click off of it, gosh, it's hard to see how you make it smaller. But if I click back on the image, this little image file properties box will pop up. And it gives me a few little controls. The one you're looking for, though, is the size. So I'm going to click it, the smaller icon, until I get it to be a decent size. You want it large enough that people can see who you are, but you don't want it too large that it takes up too much space on the page. So that's about a good size. And then here's where you simply type your information and paste in your blog address, and then click Save. And there you have uh, how to insert your photo on the page. Now, if you at, want, at any time during the course you want to change your photo, you've got a better one you'd like to use, again, edit this page. You can put your cursor right after the photo and just use the delete or backspace button on your keyboard and repeat the process with the new photo. Um, it would be helpful when you upload your photo that you check the name because if it comes, for example, right off your digital camera, it might be called DSN underscore 632057 and so on. It's helpful if you name it somehow with some identifying characteristic, maybe first initial, last name, so that it's easy to find in a list of uploaded files. So if that's the case, and you need to rename your photo before uploading it, so that again, it's easy to find in the list. All right, good luck.